He's not so fat. And we visit with heavyweight champion Dredrick Tatum, who reminisces about growing up in Springfield. That town is a dump. If you ever see me back there, you know I really f***ed up bad. But first, part seven of our eye-opening look at the bikini. Whoa, TNA. Bart, why are you still up? At least a slumber party. <laughs> Who can sleep with those five evil hands cackling and plotting against me? Boy, they've got better things to talk about than you. Sheesh, what an ego. Lisa, your brother is so gross. You should smell his room. <laughs> <laughs> now remember, Wanda, whatever shape the wax takes, that's what your husband's job will be. It's a mop. My husband will be a janitor. That looks like an Olympic torch to me. Your husband could be an Olympic athlete who will go on to have a great acting career. It's a dustpan. The wax never lies. Let's play truth or dare. Truth or dare! Truth or dare! I'll take dare. I dare you to kiss Lisa's brother. <laughs> what the? Ah! <coughs> I'm telling mom and dad. You're telling who? Mom and dad. Jinx. Now you can't talk till somebody says your name. <laughs> Coming up next, an elephant who never forgets to brush. What is it, boy? <laughs> Is anything a matter, my son? Talk to me, young man. <laughs> Say your name? Why should I do that, my lad? Because I'm Jinx, damn it! Ow! What was that for? You spoke while you were Jinx, so I get to punch you in the arm. Sorry, it's the law. 